I think what really stands out with Akshar is is kind of the pace that he bowls with first. It's not something very easy in terms of the batsman to kind of step out that easily. And also in terms of the angles that he bowls, the way the, the way he releases the ball, it's kind of very difficult for the batsman kind of leave it or play it. And especially in conditions where the ball is turning a little bit, uh, you kind of have to play those kind of deliveries. And I think that's that's it really stands out for him. Uh, there was obviously a wicket this session in the morning. Yeah. Was there anything that was particularly said during the lunch in terms of coming? Regrouping the, the, the bowling unit, and then secondly, looking at the, the test match as a whole, do you yeah. feel it's it's kind of gone to plan as, as the deal with folks? Yeah, I think the discussion was clearly uh, after the first session was kind of be patient. We knew the wicket would be easy, and and as the game progressed, we all realized the wicket was getting easier. One of the conversations that we had with the bowler, they said much easier kind of uh, wicket to bat on. So we knew that it was hard work. Uh, the focus was on being patient and kind of hitting those right areas and try and create those opportunities. And obviously, take those opportunities when you even get a half chance. I think so. The conversation has been purely that. It's it's ha very happy uh, the way things have progressed. I thought he pulled it back, picking a six wickets in the next two sessions. So, so that was good. And uh, as you said, kind of give us a little inroads in the game right now. Uh, so the first session again tomorrow, there's not, nothing changes really. Still have to bowl the right areas. We just have to be patient and, and wait for our opportunities. And in terms of the game plan in general, you feel that's, you know, it's going according to, to plan? Yeah, yeah, we're happy. The last two sessions were definitely what we expected, uh, you know, so so very happy the way we bowled. We were patient. We still got a couple of edges. We still had didn't carry. But overall, I thought very happy with the way we bowled. Thank you, Sam. If you have a question, come on. Parasal Manu, Sean Ford, Gary. Hi, Manu. Parasal, the first session we did, we had a run speed. Yes. We had a focus shift, we had a discussion, but we had a run speed. We had a run speed, we had a run speed, we had a run speed. जी, I think जैसे first session जा रहा था, you know, जैसे एक first session के बाद हम लोगों ने जो एक lunch break में हम मिले, तो bat bowlers से वही discussion हो रहा था कि क्या लग रहा था उनको, तो उनका कहना था कि batting के लिए थोड़ा easy हो रहा था, ball इतना निकल रहा नहीं था जैसे first inning में जैसे निकल रहा था, तो वही बातचीत हुई कि भाई अभी areas में अच्छे डालेंगे you know, how many areas we can put in if we are playing a 30-year game in the session. How many areas we can play, how many bats we can play, and then we will stop the opportunity. And I think that's what we did in the next two sessions. And we got the rewards. I think the 6 wickets that have come. I think the pressure in the initial phase, if the first session is bigger for them, then maybe the momentum is going on their side. But we didn't give so many runs. We have to give credit to the bowlers. We didn't give many runs. And that's why the next two sessions सेशंस पे जो रन्स हम बचा सके और जो फर्स्ट इनिंग में फर्स्ट सेशन में अच्छी बोलिंग की उसके कारण हमें जो नेक्स्ट दो सेशंस अच्छे रिवॉर्डिंग में हुए हमारे लिए सुदर्शन या सुदर्शन I think we have that discussion, and, and whenever we get an opportunity in the breaks, you really have a, have that discussion with the captain. But eventually, you also have to go with what he feels on the ground in terms of the captain's instincts also important, and you need to back that. And I think a lot of that changes uh, that uh, KL made. Uh, I think the credit must be given to him. He's rotated the bowlers very well, uh, got the fast bowlers in short burst when at, at one stage the ball was reverse, reversing as well. So that was good to see. So got the seamers in. And, uh, and, and when he realized that, uh, you know, obviously had longer spells, the fast bowlers did have longer spell. You got the spinners in, rotated him very well. Uh, and uh, especially the new ball that we took as well give us a couple of wickets as well. So I think the credit goes to KL. He's really rotated the bowlers very well. And uh, the decision that he's taken is uh, very nice. Happy. Also, to be in, engaged on the verge of inflicting a result in this match, uh, especially on this weekend. So that, that, that's like a lot of positive about the bowling group. Yeah. And what has, uh, talking about Mohamed Shiraz, and he has been in and out, but the way he bowled on this weekend, especially in the first inning, what would you say about his performance? Oh, very, very heartening to see the way he bowled. Uh, knowing that you kind of as a bowler walking out of the dressing room, knowing that you're going to bowl on flat wicket. That's a flat wicket out there. 
uh, and putting the effort that he has done uh, in a show speaks a lot about the character, speaks a lot about the attitude he carries into the game. And you've seen that every day, you know, it's every test match that he's played, every game that he plays, that's what, that's how he turns up. And and from the bowling perspective, from the ca uh, coaching's perspective, it's very heartening to see someone doing that because he gives you that sense, he gives you that opportunity, he thinks you're going to pick up wickets for you as well. And, and that's what he did right now, even though on a placid track like this, first inning picked up wickets for us and also in second inning cre did create opportunities, you know, using the, the uh, reverse very well. So it's, it's very nice to see him. Two more questions. Sudarshan, Paul, and Yeah. Yeah. So, Abhinam, uh, actually, he played uh, the test after so long. Yeah. Probably the first time in the squad when he was uh, bowling towards the back, right? Yeah. So, uh, how did you see him bowl today? Oh, uh, I think it's a lot of work that he's put in. You know, obviously uh, prior to this, a lot of discussion. You know, the move, the people were discussing the speeds that he was bowling with. Uh, people felt he was a little slower in the air. But I think credit is credit goes to him. He's worked on, on that. Yes, little slight changes that he's made in his run up. And if you can have a chat with him, he would say that he's worked a little bit on the angles of the run up that he's bowls with right now. That allows him to be a little quicker in the air. And obviously, from his perspective, very happy to see that uh, you know he's done well for the country. Uh, he's uh, you know unfortunately he's been unfortunate in the last few years. Obviously, missed out on the injury. He had a knee injury. Went back, had a surgery. Came into the squad, got hit in the nets. So in that sense, been very uh, very unlucky. But very happy to see that the way he's come back uh, and, and performed for us, and 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 to come up with the match uh, best figures is is heartening. I'm so very happy to see. I'm very happy for him as well. Start the day with that wicket this session, and uh, as the bowlers were saying, that wicket was getting easier to bat. Yeah. So, uh, was there any sign of tension or panic in the camp at any point of the day? No, none so ever. I think we knew we had enough runs on the board, uh, and uh, if, if uh, we have 500 on the board, so we knew enough runs to cushion. Uh, that gave us an uh, opportunity to attack at st times as well on, on wickets. So that cushion was there. So there was no panic whatsoever. And I think in terms of the dressing room environment was was calm. Yeah, yeah, sure, no. Uh, I mean, you have seen a lot of talk about the uh, backers being there, one format versus two format. So how difficult is it for a bowler to be a big format? Like, Kuldeep goes in and out of the yeah. Well, I don't see that being that difficult, honestly. I think uh, obviously when, when he goes back, he's not in the team right now. Uh, the individual goes back and plays Ranji Trophy. That's a different kind of format. He also represents his state in, in the T20s and the one days. So he's out enough experience out there to understand uh, obviously what lengths he needs to hit on a shorter format, uh, what length he needs on a longer format. And I think uh, it's, it's, it's just your thinking. It's just a fine tuning I feel that you require. Uh, other than that, I don't think it's that difficult. Nothing changes really. It's, it's because I feel test cricket does allow you to bowl longer spells. Because in a shorter format, you have one bad spell in maybe T20, you have nothing to come back. But at least in, in test cricket, you have an opportunity, even if you don't have a first quality session, first spell, but you get an opportunity to come back in the second and third spell to pick up wickets. So I think, but, but on personal level, I don't think it's that difficult.